Hello everyone on Nando V Movies playlist. It is I, the finally upgraded in time for Suicide Squad, Real Nerf Red Hood. And for everyone on our trust channel, no, I'm not back in, I guess, the best full armor I've got in years to do my quick thoughts on most of the long Halloween uh, parts that just came out. Quick review, in case anyone was asking for the upcoming shorts. I think it was actually good. Jensen Eccles did a good version of The Old Man. I'm not going to lie when it comes to Bruce. And, yeah, Josh Jamel doing his version of Harvey. Uh, better than the last Netflix part where he was in trying superheroes and stuff. Yeah, card to that if you want to see how weird that was. Seriously, that Old Man wig was just... Just, just lame. So, going to put the gun down for a second to basically talk about my one villainous scene. If anyone knows my backstory and... How I became, well, what the hell you see here, it's because of Joker. Now, for legality reasons, I kind of can't do the comic version because, one, there was a lot of issues building up to that. Two, yes, I am one of Bruce's greatest mistakes, and apparently so is Retro's lighting as usual here. Yeah, nothing changes in this channel. Uh, other than that, uh, I had to do the animated Under the Red Hood one. Yes, I come back later. Yes, I concoct a plan to basically force Joker to get killed by Bruce's hands, which is a villainous scene of its own, but since I'm still a anti-hero, more or less, I need to talk about, well, my death. Like, like it or not, even in the comics, it still resonated to this day. Both me and Barbara are, like, the two worst things and worst-case scenarios that's happened to Bruce, and like it or not, that still resonates almost, what, four decades later in just Barb's end alone? And, like, almost 35 on my end. Yeah, you can definitely tell that's still a mark on Bruce's end that never got away. And, yes, I do come back in the comics. Yes, the pre to me was very wild. I'm gonna apologize as much as I can as my villain this year is in the pre to two. Yeah, seriously, why were you trying to make me a villain then? Never knew. And, yes, it took a lot of retconning, even in that said movie, to get me into the Lazarus pit instead of Superman... Superboy Prime Punch in Reality. And I just realized Retro's planning to get that figure of during the Death Metal uh, event. Yes, that is literally happening, like it or not. So, let's check for lighting, because oh, wow, the bulbs in Retro's room is just dying as usual. That is my one villainous scene. You know exactly how it goes down. I get captured, he crow brought the hell out of me. Whoever voice acted him, it's been 10 years, my bad. I know it's Bender, sorry. Uh, is a second stringer to not a good, you know, Mark Hamill performance, but it's just, it's intimidating enough to get the point across. And, yeah, going through, even in the flashbacks of how awesome my life was prior to the whole thing, you could see the seeds of how it all crashed down when Joker, you know, bonked me. Like it or not. So, yes, my one villainous scene, it's kind of a default at this point, but might as well be at this point also, is my death during... Batman Under the Red Hood. So, for anyone who is watching the playlist, please go to that. Uh, for anyone who's about to see my upcoming review of The Suicide Squad, James Gunn, you better not screw this up this time, and get me in that sequel. I'm just saying, it'd be kind of cool. Anyway, also, I'm going to be back later this month to talk about Titan Season 3 to see if they got me right. And for those who are wondering why am I not wearing my traditional helmet, two things. Uh, Retro's cosplay thing probably needs more taping again, and two, I'm not wearing my helmet anymore in the comics. It's really lame. It It's very Rebirth style making me into a M MK character which made a lot more sense now that uh, we're trying to get Damien out of that stupid fight island that he's doing with Raish. That's a whole other can of worms in the comics wise. That is my one uh, villainous scene. So for anyone who's watching Retro's content for the first time I am not usually here all the time. It is usually when he's this dumb character. Also, for uh, time concerns, uh, this was Plan B because Plan A was Retro doing a whole video about Hans Gruber, and the closest thing you guys are ever going to get to doing a proper retro review of the first Die Hard. And um, speaking of, you can check the uh, uh, video down below in the description for his uh, his take when the third movie in the franchise with a vengeance turned 25 last year, in case y'all want to see that. So that all being said, I am a now return to form with probably awesomer gear than I started out. Seriously, check my playlist down below to see how far I had to come to get to this part in my cosplay. Real Nerf Red Hood! And Joker, you are killing me and stuff in this movie, but still to this day, one villainous scene. 
Take care, subscribe, and get the damn vaccine, please. No, really, seriously, that Delta variant, that is different. I'm just saying.